patience to Nebraska. 64 yards in one play. Two seconds left. Here's the end of the game as Henny throws. They'll try to set up the hook and ladder. It's in the hands of Preston, who will throw it back to Mike Hart, who looks for Avant, who's got it at midfield, who throws it all the way across the field to Manningham. Play still alive as Manningham sets up Avant to try to flip it back to, looking for a Music City miracle. They're back beyond the original line of scrimmage as it comes across. One of the offensive linemen catches it. It's still a fumble. The game is not over yet. The game is not over yet. Nebraska players are on the field. The play hasn't been whistled dead yet. Hang on a second here. This play is still alive as Ecker goes down the field for Michigan. And he's oh finally thrown down at the 15-yard line. The game is over. Nebraska wins. There should be a flag on the field for Nebraska players coming on. There should be a flag on the field for Nebraska players coming on during the play. None is thrown. The officials leave. The <laughs> game is over, and Nebraska has won the 2005 MasterCard Alamo Bowl. We had the Music City miracle and Cal Stanford about to happen. Mike, this play's been practiced a few hundred times. They were 10 I mean, yards. I, I, I thought it was going to be a safety. I mean, they were moving backwards. Once Manningham had it, the play, I'm thinking the play is dead, but Manningham kept it alive. Little option pitch back to Avant. Now he's motioning back. Now you got a lineman in the mix here. And once, that's why th the ball's still flying. That is that's still right. alive. Because it was a background. And yep. you'll see all the Nebraska players on the field there. And that, that's a penalty. Only fitting that in this night of incorrect or wrong calls, another one exclamation points the game. Mike, why scrimmage to 34? Go ahead, bud. Very, very fortunate for Nebraska that they had oh a couple defenders paying attention because you had two defenders giving the effort and continuing to play it out because they saw a guy running and the rest of these players started to celebrate with their teammates. This is the crucial play right here. Once you get the lateral, that's, that is a lateral from Avant. You have an, a, an effort there to go up and make a play by Beal. Now the, that ball is still loose. Mike, once Mike Hart got his hands on the ball, you're looking at the field, and I'm thinking, and it's, get it to Preston. It's Tyler Ecker who's running. It's Zach Bowman is downfield here, Herbie. Bowman is Michigan players on the field also. So it should have been offsetting penalties. Yeah, Bowman is there to, to make the play. Wow. Oh, my gosh. Now, Bill Callahan, during all of this, gets doused with Gatorade. And now he's watching this thing. All right, I've got my yeah, Gatorade yeah, yeah. shower. Thanks for the water, fellas. Hold on a second. Hey. All right, as we watch this, Aaron's with Bill oh. Callahan. Go ahead, Aaron. And Coach is actually trying to watch the replay. Did you know that that play wasn't over? Uh, not at all. What happened was I was on the sideline watching the development of the play, and I got splashed. And then I never, didn't realize that I walked out. Everybody was jumping up and down. And I came out here about to the ha I was on the hash, and I saw the, the play end here on the right side of the sideline. And we won, I guess. Yeah, I guess, I guess. Coach, restore the order. That's what you told your team for this year. What does it mean for your program to finish your season with a win over I'm Michigan? I'm really proud of our kids, you know, and their resiliency and their ability to fight through adversity. In our last three games, they fought back and did a tremendous job. I'm, I'm just proud as heck. I couldn't be any proud of a bunch of kids and these kids and the way that they fought. Our last kickoff cover team, we had seven guys out on that particular team, and we just kept plugging guys in. They kept fighting. And maybe the story of the game, your defense, especially after that last play, how do you evaluate how your D went after it today? Well, I was really excited. I thought Coach Cosgrove did an excellent job with the defensive staff and players. They did a tremendous job in pass rushing and keeping the Michigan at bay the best that they could. I mean, this is a talented football team we play tonight. And uh, our hat goes off to Michigan and Lloyd Carter, tremendous football team. And they're a quality team in every respect. And it's just a real honor to play against them. Never had a finish like that in the NFL, did you? Uh, I can't remember. Yeah. Like All right. Michael, send it back up to you. Thank you, Aaron. On November 7th, after the loss to Kansas, they asked Bill Callahan if he were the athletic director, would he fire the head coach? Ask that same question now, huh? Michigan 7-5, most losses since 1984, with Aaron Andrews, Kirk Herbstreit, our entire crew. Mike Tirico, good night from the MasterCard Alamo Bowl. Stuart Scott and Neil Everett of SportsCenter next. Nebraska 32, Michigan 28.